in previous lecture we have discussed definition and the kinds of phrases now we are going to move another most important part of phrases that is the determiner let's see at this point we should also introduce you to a syntactic word class called determiner in short d these are found inside noun phrases and includes the categories of what are called traditional grammars articles that is a and the numerals 1 2 3 100 quantifier some any didactic or demonstrative pronouns this that those these possessive pronouns his their my and some wh question words which whose in the syntactic literature these are considered instance of the same grammatical category as one cannot generally use two of them together in a sequence so while we may have parallel sentence structures like the boys two boys some boys those boys their boys which boys etc we cannot have sequence like the some boys two their boys etc this is all about the determiners let's see most important part of the syntax that is the phrase structure rules ps rules that is a phrase structure rules let's see what is meant by phrase structure rules phrase structure rules or ps rules in short are rules that determine how different kinds of phrases are formed phrasal structure rules or ps rules in short are rules that determine how different kinds of phrases are formed as well as how different phrases are combined or used to produce grammatical sentences the following set of ps rules account for a vast majority of english phrases or sentences here it is starting from noun phrases that is np you will recollect that a noun phrase must minimally consist of a noun that is np that is noun for example john c cars this rule says that an np is composed of an n that is a noun it may also consist of any of the determinant that is noun phrase or determine determine noun for example the boy his car one man since the determiners are optional elements in an noun phrase or np in that not all nps need to have determiners we write the d within parenthesis this is a convention followed by for all optional element that is np d or noun we could also optionally have adjective phrases within the noun phrase between the determiner or d and the n, n or that is noun this is np into bracket d or determine into again second bracket adjective phrase noun for example the ball sorry the tall boy his blue car the tall boy and his blue car tall boy is noun phrase the is determiner and another example his blue car blue car is noun phrase more talking about car that is car how looks car like a blue and whose car his car therefore it is known as determiner since we can have multiple in instances of adjective phrases we represent that by using the symbol of plus next to category that is noun phrase into bracket determiner into bracket again adjective phrase plus noun for example the bright
spirited girl the bright spirited girl the and again bright spirited girl it is known as noun phrase with additional minor we can also have optional pp's phrasal verbs in an np noun phrase usually following the noun and we can have multiple instances of them that is noun phrase into bracket determine again second bracket adjective phrase plus an plus preposition phrase <coughs> we can have multiple instances of them that is noun phrase into bracket d, d or determiner again second bracket adjective p bracket close or plus np that is prepositional phrase plus for example the tall handsome boy from london in the class the tall handsome boy from london in the class from london in the class this is a prepositional phrase i will make it segment the tall handsome boy boy it is head of noun phrase handsome it is again more information again tall so taking all positional sorry possible structures of an np into consider consideration we say that the following is the structure of an np in english and it should be able to generate all the noun phrases in the language np into bracket minor adjective phrase plus n plus prepositional phrases remember that all words except the determiner are raised to a phrase level representation by themselves even if there are no other words in that phrase like the above example tall is the first and <coughs> adjective but then since it is not modified by any other word it is raised to be an adjective phrases this is all about the noun phrases remaining part we will discuss in the next video thank you